Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is November 3rd, 2021. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report. It's late so this may not get out and get published or uploaded until uh, 11 4 in the morning. But uh, got a quick little update here for you guys. I wanted uh, to show you the um, expanded flat that we had with an A down and a B up. You can see our targets there. We had the one, well, the several of the uh, Fibonacci relationships. The 1236, the 1272, the 1382, and the 1414. And uh, that target was 4656. And today the SP went above that slightly to 4663. That might be okay by some standards, but to me it negated the expanded flat count with an A down, a B up, and a C down. Or WXY, it could be labeled it that way. It could still play out like that, but uh, we're going with the bullish count. Let me see if I have, uh, yeah, here it was here, the hourly bar. We we're looking at targets for B. There they were. It hit that one on the 28th, it hit that one on the uh, 1st, and then today on the 3rd, it went by the 4646 and went just above to make or break at 4657. So that's what we were looking at. If we can look at the purple here, this is the uh, an hourly bar here, and this is the um, October 4 low, and we had a 1 up, a 2 down, and then you can see within there, there's a 1. This is the third wave extending, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the larger wave, 3 in parentheses, a 4 down, and then we've got another 5 for 5. So this is very close to where uh, we were looking for the bullish count to go, so the point may be, moot whether it's an expanded flat or a bullish count because we're looking for a completed five wave pattern on the bullish count we sent out a um a report right after the market closed today to our monthly subscribers speaking of which i want to thank you guys again for uh subscribing to the channel there's our uh, subscription services there don't forget to hit that uh like button too i'll get to that and uh, there is our disclaimer and our awards over the years. And if I can, I want to pull up uh, the, let's see here, bear with me a second. And there we go. Thank you guys again for subscribing. Hit the reminder bell and don't forget to hit that like button. We appreciate you guys patronizing the channel. Yeah, so our monthly uh, subscribers got that today. So uh, we are looking for that high there. And I think I have that on a chart or a pick here for you guys. Let me see if I can find this. It's going to be a short update here. And there it is there. So five gains equality with one. By the way, you might notice in a previous video, I had uh, arrows over here and saying there was too much overlap for the bullish count. Couldn't figure it out. Uh, I had three up here. And when I went and re-looked at it, Three is a perfect one six point eight of one right here, which makes that again these these pullbacks are minuscule. You got to look hard to find them. There's a four, and then from there we got a one, two, three, four, and it looks like a blow off top five there. The actual high is forty six sixty three. Uh, if things are in a perfect Fibonacci world, it goes to forty six seventy five before turning down. There's the retracement targets if five has topped on the high today at 46.63 obviously if it goes higher then these retracement targets are also raised so that's what we're looking at in the bullish count which is now the primary wave count the expanded flat is negated even though it's barely over to me it's over by too many so that's what we're looking at there and that is again the hourly chart there was the old high there was a correction on the prefer preferred count. The correction is over on this October 4th low. And we have five waves up. That could be five of five of multiple degrees of trend. And the ultimate top, we're going to have to watch the decline, anticipated decline, should I say, unfold either from this high or that high a little bit above before we know what degree of trend this will correct. Okay, we should find that out fairly early in the decline. That's it for today. Nice short report. Until next time, 
Take care, everyone.